Finally, in this series describing the Vitaran HC nutrient formula calculator, I will show you how to obtain an appropriate hydroponic nutrient solution formula taking into account your own water supply. According to the results from our previous design, this table shown in sheet number 4 of the calculator is only the first step of our PAR 4 series. Established criteria, a drop of common sense and possible some experimentation might be needed in order to arrive at the optimum nutrient formula. As a consequence, the final formulation will have some elemental ion differences from the original ionic starting point. Our target is located at the small table on the bottom of sheet number 8. The ionic results shown in it are an example resulting from fine tanning experiments guided by a bit of common sense. The most important aspect is to establish if the ionic content of the formula is appropriate for growing our particular plants. If all the central cells of this chart are sky blue, then all elements ions are inside the range for nutrient solutions. Therefore, this formula can be used with absolute certainty in soil sculpture. Let's see how to do it. These are the steps to follow. There are four tables in sheet number 5A of the software. First, table number 1 is used for the selection of the macro element salts. Table number 3 is for choosing the micro elements by inserting the figure 1 in the appropriate cell one raw material for each microelement ion is selected. No other actions are needed to pick the trace elements. Now, returning to table number one, in a similar fashion, we will be able to select the salts for the macroelements and their proportion for each ion in the entire formula. We start with a coarse approximation and we begin with the salt's choice. For example, for the magnesium ion supply, we will select only magnesium sulfate. To do that, we shall insert the figure 100 in the corresponding blue cell. Automatically, the value shown in the gray cell of magnesium nitrate, which is the other salt recommended for magnesium, will disappear. Also, as we will see later, this choice will automatically change the value of sulfate ions in the formulation. Calcium nitrate is the advised chemical for contributing the calcium ion. We will keep that salt at 100%. In the commercial product, calcium nitrate also comes with some ammonium ions. The balance of this ion could be added as monoacid phosphate, inserting figure 100 in the corresponding blue cell. Lastly, potassium is added as nitrate, but also as the diacid phosphate, and a smaller part as a silicate. Of course, other permutations can be made always inserting the figures into the blue cells of table number one. As explained, inserting numbers into the blue cells will cause the values in the gray cells of the chart to also change automatically. In sheet number six, we will be able to observe the rough formula we have so far built. At the bottom of this page, is a summary of three tables. The upper one shows the ionic composition of the above formula. The middle chart shows the values we are aiming for. The lower table shows the difference between both charts. 
Negative numbers in the last table indicate that the developed formula has more ions of a particular mineral than the desired formula. Therefore, it will be necessary to adjust those differences as much as is possible, especially when big variations are involved. In order to achieve these adjustments, you should alternate between this page number 6, the previous one number 5A, and the basic design chart in sheet number 2 to reach an acceptable result. In the design chart for our formula, in sheet number 2, we will be able to reduce the amount of magnesium ions to a half and the quantity of calcium ions to two-thirds of the values we originally established. In doing that, the allowable range of these elements to obtain an appropriate nutrient solution is not affected, but the amount of sulfate ions in the first instance and nitrate ions in the second are considerably reduced. If, the, in addition, on page 5A, by making another small adjustment, we slightly raise the potassium silicate percentage and reduce a little bit of the monopotassium phosphate, the result in sheet 6 will reveal that no further manipulation is required and that we have now achieved the balance we desire. Any small differences observed will be insignificant due to the wide acceptable ranges of each ion. On sheet number 7, we will display the stock solutions formulas calculated to match your water supply in the example case that we are following. Trace elements are added to stock solution B as few milliliters of a microelements intermediate formula. Since we need to avoid any precipitation of microelements, this intermediate stock solution is prepared using distilled water as the formula indicates. Tap water or any other not deionized water supply should not be used to prepare this microelements stock solution. Also, in order to avoid any waking errors, make up the trace element mix in relative large quantities. In sheet number 8, you can adjust the concentration of the final nutrient solution to provide the specific requirements of plants being grown. For a more concentrated solution, the amount of water supply in the blue cell will be lower than 100, and for solutions of lower conductivity, this figure will be higher than 100. Also, at this time, double check that the final ionic composition is correct. Neither red nor yellow flag cells should be shown. If any cells appear in either of those colors, possible due to the high concentration selected for your particular plant's requirement, then it will be necessary to return to sheet number two and make further fine tanning adjustments to bring that particular element into line. Finally, note that at each stage of the vitamin HC calculator process, a simple guide is included explaining how to navigate the procedure step by step. The space and time does not allow here a total description of all the support in the depth descriptions and all the variables available to the user in the Veteran HC Calculator program. Please visit my website for more information. And thanks for your attention.